everybody, it's me Sarah again and uh, today I'm going to show you how to do this look. It's very, very simple. Um, I just really haven't been wearing makeup lately and when I do, this is what I do. This is my, what I'll call my everyday makeup tutorial or, you know, my, my makeup routine. I uh, didn't uh, show you how to do my face makeup but all I did was apply um, one part foundation, one part tint moisturizer, so just half and half, put it on, set it with powder, a little bit of blush, and that's it for my face. And uh, so I just show you how to do the eyes and the lips today, and it's so simple, anyone can do it. Uh, it really isn't much, but it looks like, looks put together, right? I don't know, that's just my opinion. Um, so if you have any questions, like I said, just let me know. And I hope you all are doing well. Stay tuned for, oh, it's already the 25th of February. Stay tuned for a monthly favorites video coming up. I still have to make a blog, or a vlog, and let you all know what I've been up to. And, uh, yes, I hope you all have a lovely day. And don't mind my messy room. <laughs> uh, so, yes, take care. Stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, let's get started with the tutorial. I've already applied Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lids. And also Ruben S. Paint Pot by MAC. It's just a goldeny, peachy color. And so I put that just on the lid. And uh, the next thing I'm going to take is MAC Rice Paper. It's just a pretty neutral color. And this fluffy brush, which is a MAC 217. And I'm just putting that all over the lid. I'm taking a little on the brow bone. And I am focusing it also on the inner corner of the eye. Just so your eye has a little bit of shine. Okay, so then we're going to apply some color on the lower lash line. And I'm using these two dark colors here. This is um, Dark Edge, and this is Tempting, and these are both by MAC. And my radio decided to just come on. So I'm just going to take this pencil brush right here. This is the Sigma 219, SS 219. I don't know what the new names are. But I'm just... Putting the, I'm not sure if I just grabbed the lighter brown or the darker brown, but I'm taking both of those browns at any rate, and I'm putting them halfway on the lower lash line. I believe I grabbed the lighter brown. And then take the darker brown and go right on this outer edge just to define the outer lash line. So it looks something like that. I know it looks uneven, but it's not. There, that should be better. Okay, so that's pretty much it for eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to focus on lining my eyes. And lately I've been really liking this uh, posh yeah, Posh Eyeliner Brush, and my Clinique Black Gel Liner, and what I do is, I just dip the eyeliner in with my brush, just so it's on the tip, and I look down, pull my lid a little, and just go partly on the upper lash line. There, so this is what we have so far. And I'm going to do the other side really quick before I make them both um, even. And now I'm just going to wing out each side just a little bit. So... And then I just took the liner from the wing and connected it to my lower lash line. So I hope you can see that okay. And this brush is really easy to make a good fade without it looking too harsh. Okay, 
but my hair is going to stay funky if I leave it in that thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yes, that's what we've got. And um, that's all for liner. I mean, sometimes I'll take the uh, cream liner and I'll put it on my upper lash line like this. I know it looks really nasty. But I don't like putting it on the bottom because then it makes my eyes look really small. But if I do, like if I do use a little bit of black liner, I'll just go like a quarter of the way in. If you can even see. There, just like that. And then I um, curl my lashes and apply mascara. So I'll just do that really quick. So this is basically it for the look. Um, if you wanted to do something with your lips, like if you wanted to add uh, some color to it, if you are not okay with your natural lip color, um, I'm just wearing uh, chapstick or lip balm. So um, I'll show you really quick my fun favorite lip gradation technique. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What I do is I take a nude lipstick. This is the Revlon uh, Nude Attitude, I think. Yeah. So just one tiny little coat of that. And then I go to the next darker color, which is the Revlon Airy Fairy. And I just do tiny layers at a time, and I put it right, like Nude Attitude, and then Airy Fairy. And then I take this deeper rose color. And this is a NYX round lipstick in Doll. And I go, now you need to get a mirror for more precision, right? There. And just blend it by smushing your lips together. So I kind of have it going from light to darker. And then I take this red color, which is a Maybelline lipstick in Royal Red. It's just a really bright red. And this one, you got to be really light with. You just... Tap it like that on the innermost part. And then blend it together with your lips. I don't rub as much as I just squish my lips together, if that makes any sense. So it looks kind of like a stain as opposed to like lipstick if that makes any sense and then I take a little bit of gloss and this is a Stila lip glaze in fruitcake it's a Christmas one and I just put it right in the middle of where I put the darker lipsticks Like that. And then I take a clear gloss, and this is just the uh, Frosted Cupcake one from Lip Smackers. And uh, I just put it right on the outside edges of my lips. Like that. So uh, that is my neutral, natural everyday makeup t uh, tutorial with a little bit extra at the end, the gradient lip. And I do wear this quite often when I wear lip products. Um, so yeah, that is all for the tutorial. I hope you all enjoy this. I hope it helps you. Mm. Oh, and do that to get any excess lipstick off because I felt it and it was weird. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, so yes, I hope y'all have a lovely day.